recently but I feel like the breakfast needed to happen for me to see the brighter side of things you know my process on handling breakfast is just to take time out for myself process how I feel and you know ask God for directions to make me understand the process and just forgive you know everything's working out for my good as we shared like I've had Friendship breakfast recently. When Momo he hold me down for like weeks. I was I was really down. So I can I, I mean that's friendship. So I can imagine people in like marriages and relationships. Mm. It, it, it'll just be tough because mm -hmm. it was really tough for me. And I'm type to always say, uh, why do people do therapy? What well, does it work? What's the point? Someone just talks to you, but I, I feel like I needed something like that for that period. Um, okay, do we have handled breakfast in the past? Is I make myself understand that I'm not doing at fault. And I believe it good, goes both ways. That's God serving us breakfast and we serving God breakfast. The Bible says, come into his presence boldly. Even if you've sinned, you should always come to the presence of God boldly. And come, just, just make, let your heart be free. Don't keep any guilt in your heart. My process of handling breakfast, I handled one recently and I made a couple of mistakes. I think the first mistake is um, letting go before you're ready just because you feel it's like an obligation and as much as it's important to forgive I feel like take time out to deal with stuff and move on from stuff and genuinely move on from stuff in your heart um, allow yourself to heal and then just understanding that people are people and people can always disappoint and just knowing that all things work together for good sorry that's my favorite verse but yeah that's that's my process allow yourself to heal and trust god let go and let god basically i think my stubbornness has done it for me over the years so let go and let god for me um that's it yeah mm, i like that okay. let go let go yeah. uh -uh. hashtag yeah. that's going to be the name let of the go, episode let go, go let go <laughs> And it says to humans belong the plans of the heart but to the lord comes proper answers of the tongue all a person says all a person's way seems to be pure to them but motives are weighed by the by the lord commit to the lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans so from that like i understand how we as human beings we want our way like all the time yeah, in everything yeah. we want our way and i find it hard myself to commit to god's plan because sometimes it doesn't make sense or like it looks really long it looks really mm -hmm. hard it looks like it's not cool quote unquote you yeah. know so like what did you guys get from that scripture and you know how is it like following god's plans you know so far in your lives recently Yeah, so burn your thoughts from that. So if you remember Jeremiah 29 verse 11, for I know the thoughts and plans I have towards you, they are not of they are of good and not of evil, yeah. to give you an expected end. So at the end of the day, you will get your expected end. So just that the means to it might not be your way. And that's one thing that you need to like come to terms with. It doesn't actually have to go your way. You're a Christian and Jesus saved you and all of that. That's that's that alone should tell you that the life that you live is not yours. So definitely the way you should live in this life is definitely not going to be your ways. So when things now decide to go la balu and then you're like, what am I supposed to do? That's when you should just be aligned. I'm like, okay, hi dad, what's up? What's happening? All things work together yeah, for good, good for yeah. those that love God and are called to his purpose. That's 826. 
thank you. Sorry, thank you, Pastor oh, right off, Pastor. Like, okay, okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, when it says that, it's easy to look at it like, oh, those that call to his purpose, you want to think of oh, pastors, or but no, it's literally his children, those that he calls his sons. Yeah. Uh, we are, we are, we have some sonship because of what, what Jesus has done on the cross. So it's literally all of us as Christians we are called to his purpose, and loving him is now where. The question is now where okay there's a bit of difference do you love him enough do you not enough do you even love him at all so yeah it's about i feel like i love god i mean I'm, it might not be perfect love but i know i love god and i'm called to his purpose and then he says all things and when you say all things it doesn't mean all good things all sweet things all i mean when you say all it means rough things bad things but at the end of the day they are going to work together for good yeah so i mean if you're going through stuff and it's about how you see the end if you don't see it as a bad end then you, you don't take it so much to heart you're not too depressed but you know that okay this is going to work out as a testimony and it's hard it's easy to say this way it's hard when you're going through it yeah but i mean all things work together for good for those that love god and are called to his purpose and that's just why i always hold on to in times like like this yeah. love is god love is me Love is beautiful, love is kind, love is patient. Um, I express love from the place of duty, um, caring and being supportive of friends, family, and uh, those who I call so dear to my heart. Okay, let's talk about romantic love. love. Are you in love? <sighs> yeah. No. No. Ah. Be- please wait. <laughs> yeah, no. Make up your mind. Make no, up your say mind. Women are indecisive. He being, might watch this and it's being. fine to say yes. <laughs> I ain't love. It's no, 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 no. You're not in love. Mm. Okay, what about you, Jesse? You are. Ah, uh-uh, lover boy. <laughs> what about you? I'm very much in love. Are you in love? <laughs> Be honest, just say it. Yes, I think Me I am. Me are me you me. in love, Fatima? I think I am. Fatima, you can't. I, I Fatima, can are you in love? I think I am. I'm, I'm not man. definite. Why? why all this kona, kona see i i have my own i have my own understanding of love and i feel like love go, goes both ways so from my point of view i think i am in love so if you're not receiving the love back that means you're not in love i don't think that's how it works if you love you love if they are receiving it or not that's a different conversation Wait, stop dragging for it's when we ask, are, you, are you guys in love this one is you I'm in love, okay, but I've not got. Yeah. Okay. Ah. So they right. force you to say you're in love. Like when they force it's not by force. Really love. She's me. in they love. Me. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Okay. Love. You people drag me. I'm in love. I'm in love. love is a lot of things but i'll just say that love is just the ability for you to um put yourself in other people's shoes okay empathy yeah okay i i think love love is a mixture of feelings and responsibility like i think it's, it's a decision most times it starts as a feeling and then it's a decision yeah i love this person and then the part that we always miss is responsibility like i have to love like it's work it's action yeah okay, i need to understand and know that you are sorry you need to acknowledge the fact that you did wrong and also from my end communicate and tell you because it's not nice to bottle up emotions so i need to tell you that's the work coming from my own side and you knowing that you are what you've done and actually apologize that's the necessary thing you have to apologize i think for me i've never had issues with forgiving i think we have for me we have to define the line between forgiving and forgetting at what point is forgiving complete that's probably where i'd have issues because if we're saying forgiving as in not wanting to avenge or not feeling hurt is that where it stops if we're saying forgiving as in completely forget then i struggle with that i i I feel like i'm not vindictive i don't try to get back at you or anything like that but like um 
it's hard for me to just Let it forget go. it, especially the lessons from it. And even like generally, I don't think like you hurt me. It's hard to get the same vibe back, right. you know. So it, forgiving is like I let it go. Like we could still be whatever, but like I would never put myself in a position where I'd be in that situation again. I think genuine acceptance and repentance i know i'm not good so i can't use the word repentance but like if you're if you're sorry if you apologize if you're sorry enough if you show that you're sorry i think it's more than enough i i let go of things easily so yeah it takes communication sincere communication from both parties to be able to express where the hurt is from and how we can do better moving forward so i think that's what it takes for me to forgive I think for me, it takes people to understand what they have done and accept it for what they have done. Um, if you don't know what you've done to me and then you're going by your normal businesses and I'm hurting, like, it's very difficult for me to forgive you. So when I'm communicating my grievances to you, to, this is what you have done. I understand that you have done it and um, we can communicate and be fine. So accept that you're wrong. So, I mean, take all of the learnings and then move forward. If you're one that because you are falling, you're going to remain there and just bring yourself to yourself and um, forgive yourself basically. Um, forgiving people also has been hard because we are human. And then there are points where they hit you like right below the belt. And especially on times where you were not actually expecting. Mm. And um, most of the time there are people there to you. I mean, I think that's when it strikes more yeah. for you. And it has really been hard going that path. Um, I would say I'm lucky I don't have so much, probably just a few. But taking learnings from that, it wasn't like really, really easy. There'll be times when you're, I'm praying and, and God is bringing that person back to you, I mean, where you're praying and then he's trying to tell you that you need to forgive this person. Mm. It has not exactly been easy. I mean, like I said, it has not... Um, I, I'm not... I'm lucky not to have so many situations of having um, people that are dead to me hurt me to the point where I can't take it no more. I just have like few and it's okay. So even times when I get to pray and these people come to mind, there's always a tendency for you to drop that prayer point and bring yourself into forgiving that person before you move on. So it has not been easy, but we're trying. I think the biggest person I've had to forgive is myself. I've really had to... I really had to learn to forgive myself because I feel like before now, like I was just moving through life, making decisions and a lot of decisions didn't favor me. And so now that I'm at a wiser point, sometimes when I think back and I cringe, I'm just like, ah, why did you do that? Or like, you know, and a lot of us, we beat ourselves up for certain decisions that we made. And so... I'm one of those people where I, I'm always beating myself up like, oh, why didn't you think about this? Why didn't you? Why didn't all the why didn't you? Yeah. And so I'm now at a point where I need to learn to forgive myself, allow myself to know that it's a growing period. You know, you can't always have all the answers. And so I'm learning to give myself grace, learning to give myself mercy, you know. So that has been my own little forgiveness journey. I mean, it's, yeah. it's crazy how much like the little things you do, and you don't know how much impact it has yeah, on people. Which is, 
Yeah, I, I think it's like one of the things I when people say they forgive themselves, I don't have an issue with you, you know, allowing yourself to know that you are messed up. But I think sometimes we are quicker to forgive ourselves than correcting what we've done wrong. We get to a point where we just like, oh, well, uh, yeah, I messed up. It's whatever. We don't really consider so much how it affects the other person. We don't really actively try to get that person out of wherever zone we've put that person in. And it's just like, I've forgiven myself. I've moved on. If you're still feeling how you're feeling, yeah, well there's nothing i can do when there's a lot you can do to correct to like you know at least show some not even necessary no, aside remorse remorse is the smallest form of it but like actively try to get that person through where you've brought them to i think we should be kind because humanity needs kindness we need to be able to show each other that we're capable of you know deep love and grace to one another so i think that's why kindness is important as Christians, it's it's part of the fruit of the spirit, kindness. So naturally, you just have to be kind. When you, when if you are being kind to someone, you notice that you'd change the person or at least do something for the person, and the person is soul or spirit is lifted, and that you know should be enough satisfaction for you. So if you are being kind to someone, it's it's a great deal. I think how kind you are is is a reflection of you know how how emotionally concerned you are about people and how much you've gone through yourself because sometimes you might not even be trying to be unkind but just because you don't know what that experience feels like it could come over as being unkind so yeah i think we should be kind because jesus is kind and was kind when he was with us and i think if we're ever going to penetrate the places where his message and the gospel hasn't reached we need a lot of kindness to do that especially with this generation I'm, I'm kind to myself i leave situations that i know are not good for my mental health or even physical health if it's not a must or my day my house i just play ps5 i do all right so i take care of myself i don't i don't i don't stress myself mentally physically you know unless i have to because if i have to work i have to work but you know i i do take care of myself i have a question to ask everybody so i think there's a thin line between kindness and people pleasing do you guys mm. think oh mm. yeah definitely because mm. most of us tend to think that you know a lot i feel like a lot of us interpret people pleasing as being kind in one way or the other so how mm. do how are people able to like differentiate being kind when they are being kind and when they are trying to people please this particular individual mm. Mm. And you know when you're just trying yeah. to... But some things are default settings, though. Some things are default settings. Yeah. Are you shading somebody? Yeah. I agree. You get person I agree for mine. He did shade whoever you get is shading somebody. Mine. Let it out, bro. Let it out. Mm. Let it out. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. You just No, but it's it's really hard. In this country it's really, really hard. And looking at the way things are going we are the one that we, i mean we are the ones doing and undoing ourselves yeah, at the end of the day agree. so it's it's hard that's why we have to pray for the grace of god because yeah. it's it's really hard to be kind to nigerians it, it is yeah i think we should be kind because we all need kindness and um, the world is like a gutter place and having to lend your hand in kindness and trying to help people do their stuff um, basically being a helping and will go a long way to make the world a better place so show some kindness today yeah 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 show concern bare minimum mm. yeah 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 yeah. 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 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Come that church. You change your life. Yeah. I think Jesus was extremely kind. Yeah. 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 I don't even I don't even agree with you calling that strong. I think this is even stronger. Like when we say strong we feel like hard physically looking hard is what strong is i feel like meeting emotional needs is such a strong it's like you put such a strong feeling in them that they want to hear you more mm. and i think jesus was ex- he was Extremely fantastic kind. at that yeah. he was really good at that i can imagine that process is coming back i can imagine the woman by the well coming back i can understand why the the guy that sneaked to is the the high rank guy that sneaked to listen to him i can understand why all these people were drawn to him because he's kind he's welcoming he understands you he knows you he wants to speak with you and i think for this generation sometimes we lose sometimes it's like hey don't be a part of them we are different from them. just give them the gospel we are not here to be nice you are not here to you know <laughs> for best whenever you won't come give me gospel it is thank well, you sure. guys so much i really i learned a lot thank you for all your amazing knowledge on kindness please be kind to me oh. mm. please dash me money be kind lisa surprise me surprise me you're good at surprise lisa, surprise please. me don't surprise me. Don't, 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 don't. I, I can send you my account details that's no longer surprise <laughs> i've already told her what to do but i can send you mine no, in case thank you guys so much <laughs> for blessing my couch and thank you guys also for um tuning in and don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms the 66 podcast and you know have a great one please tell my audience bye bye